hours. And on top of the fact that it's run so late. Yeah. Oops, turn the music off. I turning it on but ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the team liquid map contest it's the semi-finals it's spawning here in the top left corner of the map we have team liquid's red zerg player snoot the bottom right as the yellow protoss it's arthur okay so arthur got away with some let's be honest guys bullshit protest bullshit <laughs> but the thing is is as overpowered as that looks and there's so many people in chat that were complaining but there's got to be a way to break the force fields without ravagers the idea is that that shouldn't have really become a problem in the first place if you see that warp prism coming there's no way anyone unloads if there's five roaches waiting for them on the ground if there's a handful of lings following the warp prism around the thing for that attack was snoot really didn't see it coming for various different reasons, but the number one thing I still think is he thought he had so much more time than he did. You know, he had just made 10 drones as the warp person came across the map. He thought he delayed so long with that Zergling bro at the natural, which was really cool, by the way. I like that a lot, but uh, yeah, Arthur just had a really sick timing, and that's, this is not a strategy that works very often for him, to be completely honest with you. We've cast Arthur through sea events, through North American events, through European and Korean events, and it's not a strategy that always works by any means. No, oh, no. It might have been a case of Snoot kind of forgetting who he was playing up against, you know? Like, first of all, they probably didn't play each other too often, although, I, yeah, Arthur did play in a couple of European events. But, you know, back when Arthur was competing in WCS and everyone kind of hated how cheesy he was, really didn't have a good time back then, everyone knew what he was doing. He was yeah. being just completely hard countered. And if that was the, the case, too, Snoot would have definitely taken care of that, no problem. But I think now that was a reminder, and Snoot won't be caught <laughs> unaware again. You know. Uh, well, as far as getting caught, though, Snoot, similar openings, faster pool. This time, not without the gas, or this time, without the gas, pardon me. So, but interesting to see this change it up. Yeah, uh, you know, Arthur could have maybe shown us if you could abuse cannon rushing, but Snoot did not go for hatchery first. Yeah, and I think that's what he was hoping to do with this one as well. I mean, a forge expand is still fairly safe either way. I think... This is the map so far. We've been checking, you know, maybe like three out of the seven maps, whatever it is. Uh, how good counter would be behind the mineral lines. And Echo is, looks like it would be okay. Like it's a decent amount between the minerals and the back I just, side. I don't see any place you can put Because the idea is that you're going to have to put, what, four pylons down just to wall off? No, probably five, actually. Yeah. I was looking at towards like the very middle, but... Yeah, I guess you're right. Slit. Yeah, it'd always be two pylons or two and a half. I mean, that's not to say it's right. impossible. Again, some folks will pull that off, but that's just so much more money you'd have to invest into it. Yeah. Well, Snoot does go for the third hatchery after this. Of course, we played gasless. We get gas at five five thirty. Yeah, but they. I really want to, I want to see if the cooling tower comes into effect or not. Uh, as we've learned, for those who maybe are just joining us in the cast throughout the day, almost nobody's been aware. Arium is so far the only player that's been aware of the cooling towers as far as uh, maps played on Echo so far. Uh, and it's not to say other players didn't use them, but I think a lot of people just straight up didn't know about them. Uh, there's a lot of folks who didn't even know about the cooling towers on Deadwing until like, the season was pretty much over. So uh, whether he gets to actually use and abuse or uh, I don't know, use it at all. I kind of feel for Snoot. It almost might be more of an investment to knock these down now and to tear down the debris. Because if Arthur decides to push yeah. on the map and Arthur tears down this cooling tower, that's a one force field hole he has to pull off. I mean, that's so much easier than force fielding off this whole ramp. That's exactly what I was thinking. You know, like this is in CVT, sure, break it down. Uh, you know, if you're the Protoss in the PVZ, sure, break it down. But for the Zerg versus Protoss, no. Not unless you're planning on breaking it immediately afterwards again. Um, but it, it turns into such a, a heftier piece of rubble after it breaks, so. Ugh. Well, um, for Arthur's sake, he's got a really nice setup for the wall, not rushing towards his own third. What do you think he pulls off this game? I mean, he, he is kind of limited to such a small amount of builds, and that's what makes him such a predictable player, but if they are not prepared for, <laughs> they can hurt. Third base... Oh, wait, maybe not. Hold on. I mean, it's, nope. it's just looking base. to set up to be a big gateway all in right now. Just oh. have a robo down. I think it should be a 
three gateway expand. Yeah, I'm waiting to see if Chronos go into that that plus one. If if not, then yeah. Because he's not putting he's not dumping Chronos into the war cave. It's gonna be expansion. I mean, damn it, it's gonna yeah. be an all in. Yeah, it's gonna be expansion. <laughs> uh, he's gonna expand the amount of gateways he has in his main. So exactly. nice call, nice call, Zombie. Right, thank you, thank you. Well, the problem right now, I guess we get a point because he put a fourth gas down, right? And I was like, okay, well, that's, that's that. But he's not mining from it. No, well, now he's going to. Uh, I think this might just be like almost a fake. I mean, you're gonna I want a lot of gas for sentries, anyways. But the <laughs> taking this later doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I, I, the plus one weapon upgrades make such a critical difference when you're fighting lings, and they certainly help against roaches. But I just, I feel like, again, if Soot knows this is coming, he's a player who's so good at preparing for counterattacks that uh, he'll 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 hold oh, really well. Soot has no idea. No, he's All gonna score he's playing safe. Was that, there's two gases, two gases taken. That can definitely be an expansion build. And you need to see how many gateways are going into the main, and he has an overlord that could definitely get there before it dies, I think. If it doesn't... <laughs> Just not doing yeah. it. Go, just, yeah, just push it with your mind. I'm trying to. I'm trying to drag and scroll too. It's not working. All right. Well, the Hydra's den is on the way. Um, Hydra's and Ling's. Hydra Ling, generally speaking, can be pretty good scrappy mid game uh, fighting force. But oh, this is. I don't know. He saw like the the pro guy on the field, or maybe he saw that pylon be put down. Cause he just make yeah, ton of Ling's, right? But no speed Ling's yet. Oh yeah, metabolic boost still isn't finished. Hmm. If the Hydras don't come now, he's going to be cut off from one of his bases. Oh, uh, they're coming now. That's going to be awkward. That's yeah, going to be really awkward. Uh, the force fields are definitely going to be able to cut off that job really nicely. These are fairly uh, not wide ramps, we'll call them. Uh, from, coming from the natural effect, I don't think these are the same size ramps, are they? This one's shorter, the one from the natural. Yeah, it is. But it's a force field shorter, I guess, is the real question. Looks like three force fields, maybe? Uh, he's gonna try to get on top of the pylons. This is a really smart move. Arthur's forced to burn a lot of force fields on that pylon because, of course, it's not the strength of this initial attack that's so strong. It's the perpetual warpians, the defender's advantage being stripped away because you're fighting a Protoss player. But the uh, Hydralisks, not really that numerous. Lings are trying to get on top of the sentries. They will connect to some of the sentries, and the Hydras are coming from behind. But they shoot the force field or the pylons. The Lings are dead. That's the fog you need for the Hydras. I mean, Arthur yeah. didn't even lose anything to the Lings. Just so pulling the drones. He needs to. It's it's all about defending in this situation. If he kills enough of the sentries and forces a recall, maybe he goes back to playing his own his own uh, pace. But this isn't looking very good. This is not. No, he's already lost snoot. so many drones. Down to twenty-seven. Losing all most of the hydras as well. And if he takes care of one side, he can go up and force it off the ramp. Well, maybe not. He doesn't have any more sentries or force fields. If if Snoot had actually successfully killed that pylon, there'd been no more future warpins. Maybe this goes a little bit differently, but that's such a very stark maybe. And congratulations, Arthur will take the series 2-0, knocking out Snoot, and moving on to the finals.